Here on the Wednesday column, you will see where it says daily oral language. And this is where we're going to be correcting sentences each day. I want to show you how we're going to set up a DOL notebook. But first, I wanted to let you know that I will put the sentences under daily oral language and they will be the sentences that need to be corrected. So the sentences that I am putting under daily oral language will be sentences that need to be corrected. So they will have things that need to be fixed in them. And in their DOL notebook, that is where they will make the correction. So they will write the corrected sentence in their DOL notebook. So take one of your spiral notebooks that you had on your supply list. It could be the spiral notebook I prefer, but if it's a composition notebook, that is fine. So we are only going to use this for DOL, which we will do every single day. So how I have the kids set it up is I write on the board the sentences that need to be corrected, and they write the corrected version here. But for you guys at home, I will put the sentences that need to be corrected under the Padlet DOL. So you will need to correct them here. And all I ask is that they just put the date and they'll probably be able to fit three or four days on a page. So 8-11, so you'll be looking at the Padlet and find all the things that need to be corrected. So the first sentence from today was, she didn't go to school last Tuesday. Well, I noticed that we need to start with a capital letter And the word didn't needs an apostrophe because it is a contraction. And then I need to capitalize Tuesday because it is the day of a week. Period. And then I will just go ahead and maybe skip a line and start my next sentence here. So the only thing is for DOL, the incorrect, the sentences that need to be corrected will be under DOL in Padlet, and you will need a spiral notebook that was on your supply list. And we will divide a page into three or four sections, and then we will write the corrected sentences here with the date. Let's go over our DOL. Before we start, does anybody remember what DOL stands for? I know there are three big words. It stands for daily oral language. And we're going to do it every day for the most part. <laughs> and we need to find the corrections in these sentences. So there are a few things wrong in this sentence, or in these two sentences that we need to fix. What did you guys see in the first sentence? She didn't go to school last Tuesday. What are some corrections we need to make here? Connor. Um, we need to change. So we need to put one of the and didn't, we need to put the, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. An apostrophe? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Right, because this is called, let me get a better marker. We need to put an apostrophe between the N and T and didn't because this is a contraction. Remember, it's two words, did and not, and we put them together to make didn't. So we need to put the apostrophe there. So if you didn't do that, go ahead and fix it on your paper. What else do we need to do, Jillian? Change she to I. We can keep it as she. She didn't go to school last Tuesday, but if you changed it to I, that still makes sense. What else? <laughs> I think there's something going on here at the beginning of a sentence. The beginning of the sentence. Juliana. Well, it needs to be capitalized, right? You need a big S. So remember, I'm going to put three lines underneath it to show that I need to capitalize it. What else? Anything else? What about this T and Tuesday? Juliana, thanks for raising your hand. It needs to be capitalized. Why does it need to be capitalized, Juliana? It's a day of the week, so it needs to be capitalized. That's not a very good marker either, is it? I think we're good with that sentence. Let's move on to the next sentence. Susan, she didn't, she, oh, I'm sorry. Susan, she had a doctor's appointment. Susan, she had a doctor's appointment. What do 
I need to fix here? There are a couple things wrong in this sentence. Zane. Um, take away the shoes. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense with that in there, right? Mm -hmm. So now I have Susan had a doctor's appointment. That's better. What else? We need to capitalize the S and Susan. I need to capitalize the S and Susan. It's the beginning of the sentence, but it's also a name, right? So it needs to be capitalized. Capitalize the Dean Doctors? Um, I don't need to capitalize the Dean Doctors because it's not naming a certain doctor. It's not saying oh, Dr. Yeah. Julian. It's just like saying doctors. <laughs> Go ahead. So, put a apostrophe by the head. You are so right. Why do I need to do that? later. So if you miss that one, it's okay. All right, you guys can put that away. Put your DOL away. And Miss Daphne is coming in in literally two minutes.